Hello Zany friends, today we are bringing to you the Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow Kit. And uh, we are going to be telling you whether you should buy it because it's either awesome or not awesome. And we are doing this as part of a collab with my friend Megan Hilt, the Etsy hoarder. And she is actually going to be doing a makeup and a movie. So we're doing like mm. a, a video type switch. So she usually does awesome or not awesome and we usually do makeup and a movie. So. Uh, make sure you check out her channel, and I'm going to put it right up here. It's going to come over so that you can get the information, and it will also be down below so you can go after the video and check her out. Before we start, make sure you don't miss out on any interactive opportunities. Like, subscribe, sign up for our email updates, and uh, comment below Zany Fam. If you do that, then we are going to shout you out in a future video. So it is a very good perk of getting your name out there into YouTube land. Follow us on social media. You're going to find that right below. Hello, and if you're a content creator, make sure you go to our Facebook page, Geeks and Beauties, so that you can participate in awesome collabs like this one with a lot of really cool people in there. Uh, for, before we start, uh, let me know, did you like this? Did you want to get this at all? Um, as far as a Wet n Wild box set goes, it, it is $35 on Elta. I basically got it the day it came out because I wanted a lot of the things in it. Now granted, Wet n Wild is a fairly inexpensive drugstore brand, but I think the things in it, um, probably a really good value for the stuff that is limited edition. So first off, of course, let's show you this amazing unicorn box. I don't have it in my heart to throw this away right now. Um, I'm probably gonna end up storing stuff in it because it's so super cool. Um, and then in here, we have all of everything. And the way it's packaged is just totally cool. We have a brush, we have three highlighters, two iridescent lip colors, and three eye pigments, which I only have ever tried one of these before, so I don't know how I'm going to like those really, but everything is iridescent. Um, on my face today, I do not use highlighter, so I was actually going to use the unicorn brush and one of these highlighters to show you how easily it applies. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip the camera, go down below, and I'm going to swatch everything out for you on my hand. Um, and then we're going to tell you if it's awesome or not awesome, you're based on the entire thing. Like, is this entire thing really worth $35? Do you need it all? I, I guess the first answer to that question is you need it all if you love unicorns and everything unicorny. 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 The brush itself is a, a very nice, almost a semi like a fam brush. It's it's flatter. I'm not going to say it's totally flat, but it does have a puff kind of like a blush brush, which I think is really nice because you can just fluff out your highlight right there. Um, and then of course it has the unicorn horn bottom. Which one of these do you think we should try? I'm leaning towards this one. Yeah, I think you might do better with that one for now, because the other two, the other two, one of them is very nude colored, mm -hmm. um, and then you have one that's actually a rainbow. So this is the uh, Rainbow Highlighter in Everlasting Glow. Oh, so the first thing I really like about the package is that it has a little push button at the bottom. Um, I don't remember a lot of other Wet n Wild compact cases having that you have to like pry them apart so that's a really nice feature that you can just very easily push the button and open it and if here is what it looks like so let's go ahead and take a little bit of that i can tell it does kick up a little bit of powder dust but look looking it in the mirror and looking at it in the camera holy smokes it is a lot more shimmery in the camera than it is in my mirror but this is woo let's kind of whoop it around a little bit more see if i can get a little bit of color in there uh, yeah i have to say this is a pretty awesome product yeah it is a little powdery it is a tad bit powdery but i'm okay with that um, the brush, the brush is great. The, the brush will just really powder that in there. If you are looking, if I hope they come out with these by themselves. I mean, I love Wet n Wild brushes normally, so definitely the brush. The brush is 
great. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to flip the camera upside down and then we will show you the rest of the swatches. All right, one more time. Here is all of the different products that we are using. Um, using. Yeah, <laughs> the different products that came in it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and clear it out. We're gonna start from the top and work our way down, starting with the lip color. All right, the first thing we're gonna start with is this one right here. This is the Mega Left Iridescent Lip Color, and that is in the shade Immortal Tears. So it is very much a white iridescent color. And we're just gonna swatch it right here. You know what this is really great as, and I think it's kind of going to be great on top of other lip colors, especially on your Cupid's bow, to kind of give it that highlight shine without using an actual highlighter. I think that's what this is gonna be great for. I like how it has, even though it's white, it has like a slight uh, purpley iridescent color. This one right here is the uh, shade Unicorn Soul. And it's a blue color. These are very similar, in my opinion. I don't know, Marshall, what do you think of those as far as... Well, the Unicorn Soul has a lot more of a purple tone and it's darker. Mm -hmm. um, but... And it's got a couple other pink tones in it, but what I see is that it's actually like two different tones and iridescent. Mm -hmm. You've got one that's a little bit more blue and one that's a little bit more red. Right. Yeah. I mean, I could definitely see wearing this one by itself. And this one maybe like putting it in the middle of my lips on top of another color. This one right here, this is the Color Icon Loose Pigment in Mythical Dreams. And what, oh, this is what I really love about these. They have like a little pop top so that you don't have to worry about spillage oh. <laughs> inside of the cap. All right, the, um, so what I'm gonna basically do here is I'm gonna, usually the way I would apply these is I have a, like the, the metal top of a Bath and Body Works candle uh, cover and I use that to mix foundations, but I also like to put pigments like this into, um, like that just so that I can apply it or I have those very tiny screw-on containers where I will just dump a little bit of this in there and then I can dip my brush but we're going to use this on paper just so you can see how it comes out and then we're going to finger swatch it Smooth it out a little bit. What do you guys think of that? Okay. Yeah, I do like that iridescence to it. Yeah, it's really pretty. I really yeah. do like that a lot. Nice shimmer. All right, this is the shade Pegasus Flutter. <laughs> Again, with the flippy top. I'm going to put that one right there. Feels like it's going to be kind of a lighter shade. I like it. It's really subtle. I could see wearing that definitely like on your lids, something like that. Definitely love that one. And then lastly, we have this beautiful blue color called Unicorn Wishes. Ooh, whoa. That one has a little bit of glitter in it, which I did not expect. That's, that, it's gold glitter. Yeah, it is. Which is really interesting against the blue. I like that. It, it is really cool. I could definitely rock some looks with that, mm -hmm. for sure. Now, how do these spread on? Like, are, are they doing pretty well? Oh my gosh, they're actually really well. Like, I, I just used my finger and swiped twice and just to kind of, what do you call it? Declump it. Yeah, spread it out a little bit, but yeah. That, that goes on very smooth, it mm -hmm. looks like. And, and you can, I, from the looks of it, it looks like it's gonna stay pretty well. Yep, I think so. All right, let's go into the highlighters. Let's start with Everlasting Glow. Um, that is more of the corally pink and gold. Again, with the little button. And remember, Wet n Wild stuff is all cruelty free. Mm -hmm. They do pay for the bunny. There's that one right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a definitely a highlighted nude with a shimmer. Yeah, no, I like it. It's I think it's bad. it's not really 
horribly glittery, but it is very pretty. And seeing it used on, on the cheek the way that you are, I think it because of different ways you blend it, you can get different amounts of shimmer. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, your, your cheek does have a, a pretty strong shimmer to it, mm -hmm. but it's stronger when you swatch it like that. It's true. Okay. So let's do this one. This is Bronze Over the Rainbow, bow, so obviously it's more bronzy color. Oh, that's Ooh. a beautiful gold. Ooh. That is a beautiful gold. I like that. Yeah, that's a that's a nice strong bronze. I don't think there's anything else to say about that one. I'm liking <laughs> it. Uh, this is the rainbow one in unicorn glow, which is great as far as all the colors of the rainbow. So we're just gonna mix them all up now, just like that, and. I think the blue comes out a lot, so let's take a little bit of the other colors and try to mix it around in there. Oh, yeah. So really what you could do is just kind of swatch different areas mm -hmm. of the palette, and you'll come up with completely different tones, but they'll kind of shift in between them. Because right now I see the yellow and I see the blue, but together they kind of create a green that isn't necessarily the green that's in the palette. Yeah, let's try some of the pink in there. That so has a little bit of the gold. Yeah, that's a really useful a highlighter. Purple in there. Yeah, I think that one's great if you want to just do a lot of different looks. I think that's great. And it's not like shabow powerful. It's subtle mm -hmm. in its pigmentation. Yeah. So you can pull off very interesting looks between all of the different things that you see here in this palette. Um, not palette, but in this set, you can come up with a whole bunch of different looks, all kind of making them work together. So this is the uh, finished swatches and everything. As far as it being awesome or not awesome, I think it's totally awesome. Mm -hmm. I think this is totally worth $35. When you're thinking about the fact that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things, um, what is the price? 35 divided by eight? That's not much. Yeah, usually, I mean, I was thinking, you know, seven, that's like $5 a piece, but it's eight things, so it's even less than $5 a piece for these. I think this is, this is just, it's a great, great value, and I can definitely see myself using mostly all of these, um, at least right now, during the summer. You're talking 437 440 per piece. Mm-hmm. Now, honestly when we've been out there looking, you would probably pay $35 to just get two highlighters. Mm, not from Wet n Wild, but not, yes. Not from Wet n Wild, but from like high end. Yeah, definitely. Um, you'd be getting like two highlighters. So as far as the value here, you're getting a lot of product mm -hmm. um, for not the same amount of money. Definitely. So I, I also think this is this is kind of awesome. Yes, definitely awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out Megan's uh, Makeup in a Movie video. And... Uh, uh, Join us on Wednesdays, Fridays. Sometimes Sundays. And until then, stay zany. Bye-bye.